This is Louis D. Fresh, bringing it to you on a Thursday afternoon. Uh, this is the second try of doing this. I was interrupted with the phone call. That's one thing I don't like about these iPhones. So you're doing a video, it's rolling along, and then ah, a phone call. And it, it was an important phone call. It was for my mother-in-law stuff. And so, uh, but we'll try it again. Take two of the old YouTube video on this uh, Thursday afternoon. Uh, we are going to be talking on the fish segment of our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing a, another installment of Species Sunday fish style. Um, the first installment was uh, about a long time ago. Uh, it was about feeder guppies at the fish farm. We actually did it. And today we're going to be doing a fish that, uh, that is kind of unique. It is called a beta fish. And uh, I, I have one. Uh, it's a crown tail beta. There's many varieties of, of beta fish. And uh, his name is Johnny, after a uh, character in S.E. Hinton's The Outsiders that I actually taught back in 1995. I know I'm older than the dirt. And uh, I want to share it with you. And uh, hopefully I'll do it this, this uh, take a little bit better than I did the, uh, the first take. So uh, let's jump right into it. This is my man Johnny. I, I funny because the first take he, he did the same exact thing. He just kind of like, ah! I'm frozen. I'm not doing anything. Uh, he's been here for about a, about a good year. Um, I was probably a year and three months or so, I would say. I, uh, yeah, about a year and three months. And uh, he's about a one-gallon bowl. Let's see if he jumps around again. No, look at that. He's, he's just chilling. So, uh, yes, they're not very mobile. That is a male because you see the, the fins there. Uh, they're more elongated and what have you. I changed his water on Monday. And uh, so it is a little dirty. I'm cleaning it tomorrow. And uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. And here's the beginning of our Canva presentation. Uh, Species Sunday, beta fish. Sometimes you see that the beta fish can be male or female. The reason I'm pointing that out, most people like the males because they more colorful, their fins are longer, such of that nature, things of that nature. But the females, which I honestly I don't mention in this video, they could be kept together. Males should be kept separate because they have a they have a tendency. They're called Siamese beta fighting fish for a reason, because they will kill each other uh, to the death, really. And uh, so that's why they're usually kept separate, unless there is a division such as that, uh, where they can't get at each other. But um, they can be kept in a small uh, receptacle or a larger fish tank. But females can definitely be kept together and they usually uh, shorter fins and their color is a little bit more drab. And I wanted you to see that, that uh, my man does actually swim. There he is, there's uh, my good friend Johnny swimming along there in his little bowl. So in this second take, let's see if I get this a little bit better than the first take. The one was, uh, the first thing you really need to know about the, uh, the beta is their housing. They can be kept in a simple plastic or glass container. It really doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, I know people will disagree with me. They could be kept in a minimum, in my opinion, half gallon. People keep them in smaller than half gallon. Like I told you, I keep my, my guy Johnny in a one gallon bowl. Ideally, ideally, you really should keep them in at least five gallons or more because uh, they, they are not the smallest fish in the world, as you saw. So uh, yeah, you can keep them in a small receptacle or a larger one. Again, remember this would be a larger, a larger setting, a larger setting. I kind of like that setting. Uh, they kept in a smaller, smaller setting, a smaller setting such as this, uh, but and and such as this. But uh, since we do college in this channel, um, something I, I saw on Google that I thought was really important. That I don't think it's important, but I, I you know, I, I'm a I'm a pet kind of guy, and you can have a beta fish in college, no matter what college you go to. And yes, you can keep them up to even in a five gallon tank. Uh, get a beta fish. I think it's phenomenal. Uh, you know, you so you have a little pet uh, that you take care of and it'll definitely bring you a lot more friends because they say, wow, you're taking care of a fish. Uh, they're gonna take care of me. So it would definitely uh, lead to, to more friendships. Number two is you can use water. You definitely need to use water conditioner in your water. This is, this is indeed regular tap water. But I put in tap water conditioner. It's literally called tap water conditioner. Uh, and it comes from a box like that, like Chewy. You see, Chewy has all kinds of stuff. And uh, and as I was saying, that, that if you don't put tap water conditioner or, or some type of conditioner in this, uh, your fish will die. Why? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Why? It's because you need, use, if you use a water conditioner, 
you will remove the chlorine from the tap water. And so when you're doing water changes, change all the water in my opinion. So you're going to pour out the old water into the smaller container, use a net to scoop out the fish, put in the old water, then dump out the rest of the water, then fill up with new water and add the water conditioner. Unless you have a filter, then you do smaller water changes and you follow the instructions on the bottle. And these are the bottles, an example, different beta uh, conditioners you can use. I use something by API, literally it's called tap water conditioner. Uh, you can also, also if you have, you're using a, a bigger, um, what do you call that? Fish tank. Make sure that you, you use your hand there so you don't disrupt the entire integrity of the fish tank. Uh, that's kind of important. That's why I put that picture there. And I know they sell these things, preconditioned water for beta. In my opinion, you really don't need it. If you feel more comfortable using it, by all means. But honestly, the tap water conditioner will take care of your situation. And I wanted to show you real life example. This is the honest. This is the container I use to take, to literally pour water in here. I will not use this net, but I, I but it's here. Uh, this is a brine shrimp net. If you're gonna get a net, use a brine shrimp net because it's smaller and you have less chance of him jumping around. And use both hands and cover, cover, I can't do it, but cover your, you know, the when you take him out so he doesn't jump out. I take him out with my hands, I'm not gonna lie, but you use a net and then you put him in here. And then once you, once you have the water, the old, this water, and you have the fish in here, dump this out, put in new water, use the tap water conditioner, and then take them out of here and put them back in there. It's literally that easy. I think I've made it more complicated the, uh, the first time I took this video. It's really is that easy, exactly as I explained it. I don't wanna mess that up. And it, it truth, it takes me about, you like that? Truth. It takes me about three minutes to, uh, to change his water. That's, that's, that's really it. I dump the water, get the fish out, put them in the, the receptacle, I, I dump out the water, I put the little, you know, my hand around it, clean out any gunk, rinse it out, put the new water in, tap water uh, conditioner, and one drop for me, tap water conditioner. I take them out with my hand, and I pop, plop them back in, I put them back where it belongs. Honest, about three minutes tops, three minutes. Now that I told you how to, how to do the water change, beta fish, uh, beta fish food. Go with specialized beta food. Uh, such as this here you have beta pellets, uh, blood worms, black worms, uh, pellety stuff, little f uh, feeding action here. They do get to know you, believe it or not. Feed around six to 10 pellets uh, per meal, at most once per day, at most once per day. Uh, truth, this is what I feed Johnny right here, this Aquion uh, beta food. Uh, it is pelleted, it is pellet food. And I put it in here. Let's see if it works. Hold on. I I I, I figure I do a little little action film. Let's see see if it works. I'm being extra daring. Oh my god. Wait. Hold on. How you like that? Action. <laughs> Johnny actually ate. Uh, honestly, <laughs> he only eats honestly twice a week. So that was like a treat for him. Honestly, you don't need to feed your fish every day. You, you really don't need to fish every other day. I feed my fish twice a week. So that was an extra, extra meal for him. He does not eat. I normally throw like, like it says, a six to 10 pellets twice a week and that's plenty. But you saw that they eat the pellets and they crunch on them. They have teeth, man. Anyway, now I can't get the smile off my face because I didn't think that was gonna work, but it worked. Uh, frequency of water changes. 100% water change every seven days at the minimum. Uh, at the very, very minimum, because remember they do defecate and they do urinate into, yes, they do drink water and urinate in that water. Uh, so I clean mine, I told you Mondays and Thursdays, twice a week, or you do 50% water changes every three to four days, which is even better. 
But if you have a filter, such as a bigger receptacle of water, you can do bi-weekly changes or every other week as I, uh, as I do with my regular fish. Last but not least, so as not to go on and on and on and on, what else? Do you need to know about these beta fish filter as i've mentioned it is not needed as long as you do frequent water changes in a perfect world you really should do it every day if you have it in a small receptacle a small wait oh no i don't have a ah, small receptacle such as that uh in a perfect world or like that you need to do it every day but uh remember they are peeing and pooing in there so the more you do it is better using your tap water conditioner Remember, they go up to the surface for air. It is good exercise for them, so a filter is not needed. What else? Plants are not required, but they provide shelter and hiding areas, such as that example. That is a live plant. This is the only tank, that I, or whatever tank, that I do not have live plants in. These are plastic plants, but he definitely, and you can tell I've had these for a while, they're all beat up. Uh, he really does hide in there. He'll hide back here. He'll hide under here. Uh, he really, really uses both plants. And so I think it, it is worthy of at least uh, looking at, see, he's even looking around for more food. Like, oh, what else you got, Jack? And so, wait, wait, wait. You see, he'll, he'll, he loves those plants. And last but not least, you do not need lights. Simple lights from the, from the, from the house. Lights from the house are plenty that's all you really need so lights are not required just place your tank in a lighted area of your house and that's all i got on the old beta fish uh this will probably be my uh my little uh clip for the for the video so i really uh, I encourage you to see this video um check out you know because it's important to find out how to do these water changes the water conditioners uh the kind of foods um, and different things that you might need in terms to, to keep your, your betta fish happy. Betta fish probably, uh, um, along with the goldfish, are probably the two most popular uh, tropical fish, even though goldfish are not tropical. Uh, and so I, I think I would urge you to take a look at this, fit, at this video so that you can make, keep your, your, your betta fish happy. This is the Weedy Fresh.